What are you doing to ensure your soul? Good morning everyone. This is our reflection question for today. A little boy climbed up on his father's knee and looking up into his face asked, Papa, is your soul insured? Why do you ask that question, Sonny? Why, Papa, I heard Uncle George say that you had your house insured and that you had insured your barn and your life, but he was afraid you had not thought about insuring your soul, and he is afraid you will lose it. Papa, won't you go and get it insured right away? The father bowed his head and was silent. He owned broad acres of land and his buildings were all covered with insurance. He had insured his life for the maintenance of his wife and little son, yet not one thought had he given to his own soul. And what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Are any of us here in this situation today? There is nothing better than surrendering your soul to your Maker, Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Today's first reading comes from the book of Nahum. It is one of the shortest books in the Bible with only three chapters, and Nahum is one of the minor prophets compared to the likes of Isaiah and Jeremiah. His message, though, stands out. A kingdom built on fraud and force will not last. The Assyrian Empire lasted for 1,500 years until it was replaced by the Babylonian Empire. Its capital was Nineveh, found today in modern-day Iraq. Nahum prophesied that Assyria will be destroyed. Assyria conquered Samaria, capital of Israel earlier. Judah in its capital, Jerusalem, would almost fall to the cruel oppression of Assyria, which was overcome with pride for its victories. But while Nahum proclaimed peace to Judah and destruction to Assyria, the people of Judah were unbelieving after they saw the annihilation of Israel. The rise and fall of Assyria represents our own rise and fall if we fail to grasp the meaning of Jesus' teachings. Every achievement and success we get would come to nothing and be meaningless if not done according to the will of our Lord. And what is the will of God? Holiness. Be holy as I am holy, he says from Leviticus 19.2. And how do we achieve this? The Gospel reading today tells us, Deny ourselves, take up our cross, and follow Him. Denying ourselves means purifying our heart of all our evil inclinations and bad habits, judging and condemning people, having a habit of criticizing others and gossiping about them, escaping our problems by indulging in sinful pleasures and vices, corrupting and manipulating people to enrich ourselves, greedily accumulating possessions and sharing only a pittance to the needy, and so on and so forth. Denying ourselves also means enthroning God in our heart and surrendering our will to God's. Carrying our cross is willingness to suffer discomfort, hurt and pain to serve others. It means using our time, talent, and treasure to serve others. It means loving the difficult people through our forbearance and forgiveness, reaching out to them to reconcile regardless of their response. We offer all these to God, for we know that these gifts of love we offer at the foot of His altar will merit His affirmation. Our sufferings make us rely on Him for strength and faithfulness. Following Jesus means obeying His commandments and submitting ourselves to the teaching authority or magisterium of the Church as guided by the Holy Spirit. Our Catholic Church would not have lasted through the turbulent periods of human abuse of power, the Protestant Revolution and other events that could have led to its demise. But God would not permit such if only to illustrate that the complex and intertwined interaction of human relationships, our free will and the disruptive interjections of evil, can find clarity and meaning when we turn to Him always. Ensuring our soul requires our dying and rising. God became man to show us how. He could have used other means. He could have taken other paths. But he did it in emphatic fashion, suffering, dying, and resurrecting, so that he can show us his unparalleled love. Can we live our life denying ourselves, carrying our cross, and following him? This may be a tall order for us, but we have the Holy Spirit to lead the way. Our earthly life is a preparation for the eternal, the permanent life. This life is the launch pad, the test phase, 
the preparation for the hallowed holy space that God wants us to reach. Getting there will happen, but only if we have properly ensured our soul today. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, as I make effort to renounce all evil, take up my cross and follow you. Accompany me through your Holy Spirit so that I may reach your holy ground. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.